we're going to do two problems that are very close to each other, but it's all in the wording, so you have to pay attention. So for, let's start over here. A gas absorbs 45 kilojoules of heat and does 29 kilojoules of work. So they want us to calculate the change in energy. And our formula, it's the change in energy, this is dying, equals the heat plus the work. Okay, so what do they tell us? They tell us that the gas is absorbing 45 uh, kilojoules of heat. That means that heat, I'm not going to use this one, that heat is going to be a positive number because it's absorbed by the gas. And they tell us that the gas does 29 kilojoules of work. That's important because that's telling us that the actual gas is making, doing the work itself, so that is going to be a negative number. So notice that the problem doesn't tell you the signs of the heat or the work, but they, te they, they actually write it down so you have to, to think about it. Now we go to our formula. We plug in our number, so we have a plus 45 and we have a negative 29. So you do that calculation and it gives you that the change in energy for the reaction is going to be 16 kilojoules. Let's do the same for the, sa for the second one. It's, a, it's the same formula. But let's see what the problem actually says. The system releases 125 kilojoules of heat. That's important because that's telling you that the system is letting off the heat so that is a negative number. System is flowing from the heat to the surroundings. So that's 125 kilojoules. And 104 kilojoules of work, it's done on the gas. So that one is a positive number. So the work is going to be positive. And now we're ready to put the numbers in our formula. So the change in energy equals the heat plus the work. That is minus 125 plus 104. That's going to equal to minus 21 kilojoules.